All right, you guys, what's up? And I know it's been a few weeks since I have done a video, uh, particularly for this group of Average Rob Runs. And I wanted to kind of do another review video on another pair of shoes. I have actually used these for quite some time. Uh, and it's a shoe that I actually am kind of impressed with, uh, but it works for a certain group and a certain type of run. Uh, so I'll get into that here in just a second. But uh, first, we're just going to go over uh, the shoe itself. And this is actually the Brooks Revel 3 or Revel 3. Uh, now, this one is the Zap uh, model, uh, which is kind of like a, one of their limited edition. Uh, every once in a while, Brooks puts out like these limited edition shoes where they've got like these really cool designs and whatnot to them. So uh, this is one of them. Uh, and one of the reasons it's called the Zap, obviously, you see that it's got the white and, and kind of this yellow uh, color to it. But if you look really, really closely, you can see where it's got like this kind of very 90s looking design right here. And that is actually the reason for it is it's supposed to be kind of a retro to the uh, to pays homage to the uh, the 1990s and some of the styles and, and designs that were from the early to mid 90s, you know, some of the stuff that honestly I grew up with. And, you know, I think when I look at the design, I just kind of see like Nickelodeon, some of those old Nickelodeon cartoons. Uh, but besides that, uh, this is the Brooks Revel 3. All of them are pretty much the same. This is just a special edition uh, Zap model. Uh, but uh, let me go through some of the things that are about this. Uh, this particular shoe, it's a neutral shoe. That's what Brooks uh, has it labeled as. It's an eight millimeter drop uh, from heel to toe. Uh, so it's more flat than maybe the shoes that I'm used to running in, which are a 10 millimeter drop. Uh, two millimeters usually doesn't make that much of a difference, but uh, in any case, that's uh, this is a, a very good shoe for many purposes. So we're gonna get into the upper here. Uh, and then we'll go to the midsole and then finally the outsole right here on the bottom. So uh, first up is this upper, which uses a nice breathable mesh material, uh, which does a pretty good job, especially here in Florida. It gets really hot. Uh, my feet have always tended to stay cool with this. Uh, it has some good flex to it, so it's not particularly stiff, uh, but it's also not too, uh, some would say, loosey-goosey on you. Uh, it, it does offer some pretty good lockdown with the laces, although I've had better shoes that do a lot better job with it, such as my Nike Pegasus or my Reebok Float Rides do a little bit better job with the, with the lockdown on it. But that being said, still does a really good job. One of the things I always loved about Brooks is these soft and stretchy shoelaces. And those do a great job that when your feet start swelling during a run, uh, it allows the shoe to kind of expand a little bit while still maintaining a good uh, structure for you to work with. Um, it does have some good flex to it, some good movement, as you can see. Uh, so it's it's really kind of a nice shoe all around. I love the padding around the ankle and around the heel. It's it's really nice. It does make you feel pretty locked down into, into place. During the runs that I've had, even from right from the beginning when I first got these shoes, these have about 85 miles on them. Uh, but when I first got these shoes, uh, I never felt like my foot was going to pop out um, or, you know, having that loose heel where it just, you know, you don't feel so secure. Uh, Brooks does a really good job with their heel support to make sure that it gives you that really good lockdown feel. So one of my favorite things about the uh, Brooks running shoes, they do focus a lot of attention uh, on the things that, you know, runners do find important. The toe box to me is a little narrow compared to say the Ghost 12s. The Ghost 12s to me were like perfect fit, um, had a lot of space in the toe box. Uh, this is a little bit narrower uh, than the uh, Ghost 12s that I had. I know the Ghost 13s are out, uh, but this is very um, kind of similar in, in some aspects. Now this doesn't use the, when we get over to the mid section here, the midsole, uh, this doesn't use the DNA loft foam that uh, Brooks uses for their more higher end shoes, say, such as like the Levitate or the Ghost models, the Ghost 12, Ghost 13s, uh, where it uses the DNA loft foam, which is a little bit more, uh, I would say, uh, kind of a mix of a little bit firmer, but more like springy, 
I guess you could say. It has more spring to it. It's still soft and absorbent, but it has a little bit more spring to it. This just uses their typical DNA foam. It even kind of says right here on the bottom, you'll see right there where it says DNA on it. Um, and it does a really good job. I mean, it's actually super soft. It, it's a really good, uh, comfortable shoe that you can put some really good amount of miles in. Uh, so, and it uses the DNA foam from front to back. Uh, and as you can see, it's not a, a thick amount. It doesn't have a really high stack height to it, um, which is kind of like a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. Um, that being said, there's, there's uh, again, a time and a place for this particular shoe. Uh, and I'll get to that here in a second. Uh, and then we get to the bottom of the shoe, which is your outsole right there. And as you can see, other than this little section right here uh, of exposed foam, which is uh, more on the outside, uh, of your foot, uh, where your inside is over here. This kind of runs on the outside of your foot over on this side. Uh, I do have to say that it does a really good job. It's plenty of stability with the way that they've designed the heel area. So you don't have to worry about that. Plenty of tread grip on here. Although I wish to be honest with you, I wish the rubber was a little bit harder compound because even after 85 miles, you can clearly see uh, some of the tread right here is really starting to wear uh, pretty good. So, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm a heavier runner. I don't expect shoes to last forever, but uh, I'm just seeing that wear right here, right in that toe area. Um, and, and it's a little excessive in my opinion. Uh, so I kind of wish it was a little bit harder compound rubber. Uh, that being said, if you're kind of using this, uh, I'm straight pavement runner running. I don't go on trails or anything. If you do some trail running, uh, as well as pavement running, I think this will last a lot longer. Also, I'm a heavier guy. Uh, so that kind of plays in a role too. If you're a lighter weight person, this is going to be a great shoe for you. Uh, as far as its durability is concerned. Wonderful thing about this is the price point. The price point of this shoe comes in at just under a hundred dollars. Now you can get these on sale, uh, because they came out with the rebel four, uh, so you can get the Rebel 3s on sale for a lot less, but this is a $100 shoe. So a sub $100 shoe is, in my opinion, a great everyday trainer type of shoe. Uh, it's super comfortable. As, as Brooks always says, they try to take a more holistic approach to running rather than going to labs and doing all this technology advancement and stuff like that that you get from a lot of the bigger companies. Uh, they tend to look at a more holistic approach when it comes to running. And they do a fantastic job with shoes like this and like Ghost 12, 13 models. Um, so I, what, it is one of my favorite shoes to kind of run in. But let me get into the purpose of this shoe. So this particular shoe I actually use more as like a recovery run shoe. So a, a shoe that's not going to be super fast uh, because it is like super soft and super comfortable to run in. I don't really see the shoe being a runner for somebody that is in steep competition. Um, it's a good walking shoe. I will say that if you, if you like to go for walks, it's a really good walking shoe. Um, but as far as a running shoe, I would say it's more of a recovery run shoe. It's not even really a tempo run or something that I would say would be like an everyday trainer run, you know, something where you you know, as far as a trainer, you want to be able to get faster, slower, faster, slower, uh, to train your body, to be a better runner. Uh, this particular shoe kind of likes to stay at a more constant pace and it, because of it being a little bit softer, it really doesn't like speed too much. Let me just put it that way. It's not much of a speed runner shoe. So I would definitely say that this is good, uh, kind of every day, maybe recovery run shoe. And even then I wouldn't use this shoe for more than maybe a few miles here and there. You could probably run a 10 K in these, uh, but I wouldn't be like a, a half marathon or a marathon runner in this particular type of shoe. I think that's where you would really want to go to, you know, the ghosts or levitates or, you know, some of the higher end Brooks shoes. Uh, this shoe just doesn't really fit the bill when it comes to a long distance runner shoe. This is like, to me, this is like a, um, as you know, I do a lot of stuff with Nike run clubs. So, uh, this would be like my Sunday 5k shoe is basically what it is. You know, go out, do a 5k, 
uh, not really put a lot of effort into it, just kind of a nice, relaxing, enjoyable, because I always say enjoy the run, uh, enjoyable run. This is a shoe that maybe you can just go out and just enjoy your run, enjoy nature, enjoy everything around you. Don't look at it as a competitive shoe that you have to be putting down like these insane times. Uh, this is just a shoe that you just go out, enjoy the run, enjoy nature, take the headphones off, uh, and just enjoy the sights and sounds in a shoe that is relatively comfortable uh, for a nice 5K, you know, kind of jog, run, stuff like that. Also, let me also say this, that if you're a parent and you have a kid that's in high school, maybe, you know, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 years old, let's face it, you don't really want to spend a whole lot of money on a pair of shoes, especially since they're probably going to grow out of it in six months. Uh, or by the time the semester ends and kids put a lot of a, a big beating on their shoes. If you have a kid that likes to go out and run, is uh, is in like maybe the track or uh, cross country or something like that, um, this might be a shoe that you want to take a look at because it's it, it for the price point, it's a very good shoe. Uh, there's plenty of shoes out there on the market that could probably offer the same you know type of technology. But I'll be honest with you, this is a very good shoe. It's comfortable. I think it looks pretty cool to be honest with you um and it's it's just a comfortable shoe that they could wear every day they could go out uh you know they can walk around school with it then they can go do track with it or if you're just looking for a a uh, kind of a uh inexpensive shoe that they can go and run track with specifically uh this could be a good shoe i mean it's you know I don't really feel like it's going to have the speed. If you're looking for a, a speed shoe for competitive running, I would probably aim more towards like a higher end shoe or even the workhorse Pegasus uh, is what I would lean toward because that's something that can go a little bit up tempo. But uh, to be honest with you, this is a very good shoe that if you're, if you're a, a parent of a high school student, you're not looking for something that's too expensive. Uh, you want to get them a good running shoe so that, you know, if they're out of PE, they can run track um, or do all different types of sports because it's a super flexible shoe, uh, grips really well, it moves around. It's not really, in my opinion, it's not really just a runner shoe, even though that's what it's built for. Uh, they could use it for other sports as well. Uh, so to me, this would be a good shoe to like give your kid for PE class. So um, overall, I really like this shoe. It has a purpose does really well. Um, so if you are interested, you can always, uh, you know, check out Brooks website. Um, none of my shoes are, there's no sponsorships. I'm not getting paid for any of this kind of stuff. This is just simply uh, my personal review on shoes that I purchased. Uh, so if you're looking for a pretty good running shoe to kind of get you through every single day, get you, you know, maybe get you out and enjoy the run, especially now that we're starting to get fall weather here in Florida, it's not really fall because it's just really hot out. Uh, but we do get those spurts of like cooler weather. Um, this is kind of a shoe that go out, enjoy the run. That's, that's really all there is to it. So uh, if you if you are interested in a shoe like this, uh, very good shoe, under hundred bucks. Uh, this is the Brooks Revel Three, and like I said, as always, enjoy the run.